Hey guys, welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts. Today I'm going to talk about my 2009 Dodge Grand Caravan. And what we're talking about is the sliding door here. Um, the sliding door does not want to open and close very well. So if I open it, it opens no problem, as you can see. And then when we close it, it gets to about here and then opens back up just like that. All right, so in order to fix this, we're gonna do a couple things. The first thing I did, I went on YouTube and everybody kept saying it was this cable down here, this one right here. So I went ahead and replaced that. Um, I had an issue with it, I couldn't find any. I found a 2010 Dodge Grand Caravan. Unfortunately, they changed the connectors on it and I had to swap those out. Um, the good thing is they kept the wiring colors the same, so it was just a matter of matching up color to color on the connectors. I'll show you that here in a second. All right, guys, so here's the old, the old cable here. Um, what I wanted to show you is this connector, although it looked different, it had a red tab here instead of this gray one. Um, not a problem, same connector. I looked at the back and all the colored wires were exactly the same in the same order into the new one so I knew I was good. So what I did, this is the connector for the 2010. So between 2009 and 2010, they must have changed the connector. It's a lot smaller of a connector and you couldn't use it. So all I did is I just cut it off and then I joined the new connector with all the same colors. You can see these, they have all the same colors. So I just match the colors and put it in. So here's the old one. Now I'm using the old wire here, so it's not going to be exactly it. This is going to be green on the one from the vehicle. All I would do is I would go ahead and snip all of these wires off just like this. Okay, that way there, I get rid of the, the connector. Peel back all that stuff, and now we have all the wires by themselves. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look here. We're going to go ahead and take this off here. So now I can get to all the wires. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and strip the wires using a wire stripper with the 18 or 20. We're gonna go ahead line it up. Leaving just a little bit of wire here and twist it. Grab a wire cap and slide that on. Push it so it's nice and tight. And then we're going to crimp that down. Make sure it's on. Now, we're going to go to the wires from the, from the whole wiring harness. And we're going to look for the same colored wire. So in this case, it was the purple wire. So it's this one here. Peel back all the other ones. We're going to go ahead and strip that one. All right, so we got that stripped. We push it on. Make sure it's all the way in. Cramp that down. Make sure it's tight. And then we just do that for all the other ones. Again, making sure you go what color, same color to same color. All right, so that's how I did the cable itself. Um, again, real simple to do the cable. There is another video on YouTube, but I'll run you through it really quick.
All you've got to do in order to do it is pull this off. All you do is lift it up from the back here. Just lift that up, okay? And then you pull this apart. I'm not gonna do that, but you just pull this off. In order to get this off, you may need to move your seat all the way to the front and then lift this section as well. All right, so once you have that done, you get the connector from in there disconnected. There's a little red tab, you just pull it. Then you come in here, disconnect your ground wire from there, right there. Close your door about halfway. And if you look down in here, following the cable, where is the cable? Where's the camera? Okay, there it is. So there's the, the um, connector. Now with this one, all you're gonna do is take the red tab, push it down, just like that. And then you can. Okay, so I drop that, push this tab in, and just wiggle it off. With two hands, you hold this one at the same time and you can just slide that off. And the other thing you gotta do is as you pull up this wire, you're gonna see that there's these tabs right here, like this, you just gotta pull them out. They just got the little Christmas tree connectors. You just pull those out. And then you just put it all back together the same way. The next thing I noticed was this was loose, so I tightened that up. But none of that stopped the problem. Looking at the door a little bit more, I came in here between the door and the, the vehicle itself, and I can see it's hitting. There's a scratch mark here, so it looks like it's hitting there. Went around to the back as well, and right here's paint's being rubbed off too so it's hitting so it's obviously hitting there so I took a look around and I saw this bracket here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead put a wrench on that and we're going to just tighten that down a little bit one two three four five six Seven. We're going to try seven times. And now we're going to try it again. Open it up again. And hit the button in here. So there you go guys, before you go changing out all the wiring and everything, just try to realign the door. Alright guys, have a great day.